Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's 3D Shadow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. This is lesson 21 and in this lesson we are going to simulate the isolated footing under eccentric load using Plax's 3D. If you see uh, this figure which is shows a shallow foundation under a vertical load and the moment and this moment maybe comes from the superstructure load or wine load or any other types of the load so uh, this uh, uh, force equal this equivalent system so uh, due to, uh, some eccentricity happens due to the uh, applied moment at the centroid of the foundation so the amount of this eccentricity equal the amount of moment applied at the centroid of the foundation divided by the vertical load on the foundation so in this example we are going to uh, simulate uh, some examples like this so uh, suppose we have an isolated footing with dimensions of 1.5 meters by 1.5 and also the vertical load equal 800 kilonewton and the moment in this direction equal 80 kilonewton meter so first of all uh, we will calculate the amount of eccentricity due to this moment which is equal moment divided by vertical force equals 0 0.1 meter which is equal uh, about 10 yes which is equal 10 centimeters so in this example uh, instead of moment and uh, vertical load at the center of the foundation we will uh, just apply the vertical load but at uh, 0 0.10 meter far from the centroid of the foundation again we can uh, select a point for uh, drawing the low settlement curve after the calculation so the coordinates of the center of the foundation is 0, 0, 10 and we click a node which is played and update and uh, I think right now everything is ready and we can start the calculation okay the calculation is uh, finished now we save the model again and we can click on the view calculation results to see the results of the calculation so this is a deformed shape of our example we can see that the maximum uh, displacement is about uh, three centimeters and this is a deformed shape of the foundation we can uh, see it is deformed uh, in an inclined way uh, so uh, the settlement is not uniform maybe uh, the settlement in this uh, in the right side is uh, bigger and in the left side is the smallest so we can also see the deformed shape total displacement or maybe the displacement in z direction and maybe we can uh, click uh, uh, vertical cross section so as you can see in here the maximum uh, settlement occur at uh, the eccentricity side uh, uh, in the right side in this example also we can uh, see maybe a total displacement 
this is a uh, vertical uh, vertical uh, uh, vector displacement we can also check the isobar displacement this the deformed mesh also and uh, we can also check the stresses maybe in uh, z direction we can see that the maximum uh, stress happens in here because uh, of uh, load eccentricity on the foundation also we can extract the load uh, displacement curve from uh, this example so we click on curve manager and click on new in the x direction we uh, select the m stage and in y direction we have the deformation and the displacement in z direction okay and right click setting we don't need the data from initial and the loading phase okay okay so we can uh, click on table and control a and control c and we can export this data to excel so i already have done it so as uh, you can see this is uh, a load a settlement curve of the foundation under the eccentric uh, load uh, in here we multiply uh, the m stage by 800 kilonewton and the settlement by 1000 to just to convert from the meters to millimeter and uh, please do not forget that uh, this uh, displacement is at the center of the foundation uh, not the uh, not at this region so maybe in here if we click on deformation total displacement in here we can see that the maximum displacement uh, happens at the right side it is about uh, 34 uh, millimeters so in here it is about 25 millimeters so because uh, this uh, displacement is at uh, the center of the foundation so maybe you can choose two points maybe one uh, point at uh, the left side of the foundation and maybe one point at the right side of the foundation and you can also uh, examine the differential settlement uh, of the foundation also you can click to uh, see the shear force and moment moment uh, force in the foundation you click on uh, select structure and double click on the plate so right now this is a foundation plate and we click on the force you can uh, see the moment in uh, one one direction and uh, two two direction so uh, you know in plexus uh, each element have it is uh, own local axis so for example if you want to see the moment uh, in the uh, this direction you uh, select this one mm and if you want to see the moment in the direction 2 you select moment at m22 okay and this was uh, about how can we uh, simulate or model the shallow foundation under eccentric load and uh, thank you for watching i hope it was beneficial and see you in the next lesson